Hey guys, welcome back to FTB Regrowth. This is the Grobbler, and I have a cold. Um, I went to Minecon um, last week, Saturday, Sunday, and um, I got a pretty nasty cold. It is now the following Saturday, and I have been miserable. So, anyway, I'm going to try to get this out. It's been um, a week since I've posted anything, and I know I promised Tuesdays at least, and I haven't been able to do that. So what I wanted to do is show you a little bit about what I've been doing, and made a path, got these guys going, I kind of fixed up this garden. It's more efficient so that, um, you know, the guys can get all of this stuff, and I, I trimmed things down so I don't have, like, way too many flowers and stuff going into the, into the shop. Over here, you know, we have a path. I'm going to put some paths around and start working on that. But in here, we have, you know, some new seeds. We have the slime seeds, and I did do the cobalt, and I did have the ardite going in here. So everything's coming in. I, this is my overflow. Um, I don't know where these are coming from, but stuff must be dying, and they're getting picked up someplace. I think maybe underneath. I don't know. Um, also, I wanted to show, point out this drawer controller here. I couldn't use the slave controller, and I, think, I don't know if I said this in the past, but I made this controller slave, because this only goes 12 or whatever. Um, but so I put it like here, and then it wouldn't work. So I don't know if that's broken or not, but I had to use this other one. So now things come through. If they don't get seen, they go over there, and then stuff goes in there. So every once in a while, I might be pausing to cough, um, I do apologize, but um, I didn't want to get this started um, to get this out to you guys. <laughs> that was a cough. So, um, how do you like my new deep, deep voice? Wow. Um, let's see. Let's show you what I've been doing, and then I'll tell you we're going to be working on the Thomcraft. Mm. We're still working on Thomcraft, is it? Thomcraft. I guess it's called Thomcraft. I am at a loss for what it's called, but yes, we're gonna we're working on Thomcraft. Um, I did start um, squeezing some oil. I'm just using just the hobbyist steam engine. It doesn't do a ton, but it's getting some work done. I used melon and pumpkin seeds, and really, what I was gonna do if so these I had this thing over here, so it was making a bunch of stuff. It actually made two new queens. So I have these two new queens, so I said, okay, well, let's do that. I want to start working towards an apiary. That's one of the quests we have, I believe. And we'll start working on that a little bit. I don't know which one it was. Is it this one? Yeah. So they want an apiary. And in order to make the apiary, we need the impregnated casing, and we need some sea oil, which we have enough now, but I'm just letting that run. Um, another thing you can notice, I got another tree to grow. Oh, look at that one just grew, but it doesn't have a thing in it. Um, I did get another one to grow, so we have two. So this is all magical forest. Oh, and great, it's going to get dark. Um, so with the magical forest, I wanted to get maybe a, a block two there and two in the back to have a bigger magical forest going um, just to make things a little bit more colorful you know because it has the green and then the the blue for the the whatchamacallit um, water I've also been expanding my grass here and there I have to do this all by hand I do have the magical or the the wand whatever it's called the builder's wand but it's with the crack sand it, and I don't know it, it wants to use the same type so it's it's been a pain, so I just do it all by hand. All right, let's get it going here. Um, so down here, I've been working a little bit. This is where I wanted. I haven't done anything yet. We're gonna. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you this, and then we're gonna cut. I'm gonna build up what I'm talking about, and then we will. Um, we'll go from there, and I'll show you instead of building it all with you guys. Um, so this is, you know, kind of a setup that I'm going to have. It'll be smaller, more compact, but I'm going to start doing... My goal is I want to make um, all of the different aspects in crystal form, so like this. So I'm going to figure out some kind of system, and we'll go slow with it. But we have that. Over here is where we want to do... What is 
it. That was a cough. Um, we want to do, where is it, this thing. And we'll do this now, but we're going to do the inf put the infusion thing here. So with the infusion thing, this is where we build this. And so it's going to go on here. And here's kind of the middle thing. I use these fantasy blocks. They're easy to make. Let's see. Um, all you need is stone and that and the purple fantasy blocks. And then you can chisel to make other ones. So I have the white ones here. So what I did here, I used all the four things, fire, water, earth, air. So here's fire in the form of lava and earth and that to me when it combines would make let's say um, that stuff, whatever that is, netherrack. And then over here is air and this is cloud blocks, kinda cool. And when they form they make sand and then water and air makes packed ice and then of course obsidian. And so I'm going to have these fantasy blocks all throughout here, but I thought this would be cool for the infusion thing. And then surrounding it will be all of our essence so that we can actually do the infusion. And over here, it might actually be back here, we will actually produce all of the essence, but I think all of the runoff we're going to have come into some crystal things. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. And then in this area, we're going to build things. So we'll have these automated, like this one was automated to build those cores. If you remember, we had the core, um, the, the, sorry, the, the golem cores. So anyway, oh, this is what I had. I needed, I needed the lava. These are all lava things, and I can, you know, make a bucket of lava using the fire stuff. So... Well, that's where we're at. So what I'm going to do is I want to set up what I'm going to get this stuff. Do I have it? I might have it. We need that. Yeah, let me get the stuff and then we will go set up the, the little infusion thing. And then we will start setting up all of the other, at least one or two of the other things so that we could um, see how that's going to go, and I'll kind of complete that as we go. If you notice, I did run out of mana. I turned them off downstairs so that we can... Um, I, I have to get things a little more organized. So, hold on, I have to cough again. Okay. So, yeah. So let me get that stuff, and then we'll come back. We'll do the infusion thing. Mm -hmm. And you have to excuse me because I'm a little bit out of it. It is early in the morning. I wasn't able to sleep, and I said, you know what, I've been working on this probably at least 10 hours in, um, just cleaning things up and trying to get things organized um, since I last recorded, so, all right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. I ran into a little snag with trying to set up my crystallization thing, but we will at least set up the fusion, let's just go in, um, thing. So I was able to make this runic matrix get rid of these for now. I need some of these and I need some pedestals. And I have my wand, which I think has enough. So let's go down and look what I did. Oh, also I I found this down here. Um, so this was down sitting down here someplace, so I decided to run it here. It wouldn't run out there. I had to run it in a um, uh, it, ha it was too hot for the rocky bee, so I, this is now in the magical biome. So, anyway, my thought was I can use these essentia buffers, and it, two goes up there, and then we can have them run basically just do the essentia buffers all the way across, and then we'll get here. The problem is, is it doesn't seem to be pulling, so I'm going to have to mess around with it a little more and get it to pull, because we could do something like that. And let's see, will that go? in there. So let's see, will this make it all the way across? It probably won't because it's going to get stuck. Yeah. So this won't make it to there, but if I go like this, it 
should start going. See? No, no, no. Why isn't it going? Let's see. Yeah, these things bug me. Might have to use golems to get this going. Why isn't that going over? Oh, because it's it's this buffer tube, yeah. So the buffer won't pull, but see that will. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way. See, will that pull out of that buffer? No. So I'm gonna figure out how to way to do that. So anyway, that was my thought, but yeah, you see it's not it's not actually working. Get rid of that. Put that there. That should run some of this out. So now that that's there, we could go, and that should start taking that out, and then let's see if that ever gets out of there. Hmm. It's weird because it's this should be oh oh it's the wheat ah. That's running that across, maybe. Boom. Still not running that across. Oh, because of that right there. Okay, now that's going to work. There it goes. And there. And get rid of that. Open that up. Alright, anyway, that's not the way I want to do it, but that's the way it's working right now. So let's come over here and let's set this up. So if we look at the book, it says we need some stuff. Oh, I didn't want to buy that. So I have that research. Alright. Infusion, is it in here? not in here. Maybe it's in here. Okay. So we need to have arcane stone bricks. And did I make some of those? Uh, sorry. Four arcane stone bricks. Right here. And put this in here. Let's see how easy this looks. Uh, we'll do that one later. I'll show you guys that. I haven't shown you guys how I do my things. So, okay, so we have the bricks. So, these four bricks one, two, three, four. What goes in the middle? We have the pedestal in the middle, and then I think four things on top. So, let's do that pedestal, and I think, but I'm not 100% sure, one, two, three, four, and this thing goes here, and then if I zap it, no, are these supposed to be up one higher? Uh, let's see, hold on really quick, let's look in our book, and we will find out what we need. So we need four arcane stone bricks, arcane stone block, four of those, and now we need 25 of each, which I believe we have. Da -da 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 -da, yeah. I think we have. Are these supposed to be up one higher? Alright. One more 
look and then I'm gonna there. Oh, it's a three by three. Do we have the three by three? Yeah. So what are we doing? Are they supposed to be up one higher? Let's try that, and then after. I'll try one more thing. Okay. Not that. That's not going to be right because it. I think it needs to be down there. This is going to be wrong, and once again, oh, I even got that wrong. All right, give me a second and be right back. All right, guys, we are back, and I figured it out. If you look at this, it doesn't, it, it kind of, this is an empty space. I didn't, I thought these were these blocks. So what this is basically saying is arcane stone, arcane stone block, or bricks, uh, block, an empty space, and that's with the empty space. So this has to go, oops, how do we do this, let's do it this way, it's going to have to go there, and we could take those down, right, yeah. Okay, if you put things on the pedestal it grabs it, so that was the problem we were having, so it looks something like that. Right click on that and boom we have the pedestal or the altar. Is that what it's called? So then we have to set it up so that it is in symmetrical form and I'll probably I think for now we'll just do something like this but this will be changed um, and we'll put I'll have it all around in a circle so I'll do that. Um, now, but I'm going to do a little bit more research on how I can do this. If you guys have any tips, let me know. I'm going to set this up to be a little bit uh, more symmetrical with some stuff in there. Well, some of the things we need to get is I need a new wand. So I want to get my silverwood wand, but in order to, to do that I have to do something like this. So, um, And I'm going to have to get these things down here and whatnot. So we will do this next episode and then maybe this as well if I, and I'll try to drum up some of this stuff so we'll do this next episode but right now we're gonna do one last thing before we go oh, have to run over here what we'll do is we'll do the thumbcraft uh, which uh, 
little mini game to do the scepters um, that I accidentally grabbed. And then we'll call it a day. And I know we didn't get much done. We did get the infusion thing done. I did show you my concept. So let me know what you think about yeah. that. Um, that my how how am I going to get that stuff out? What's the most efficient way without using golems? I want to use the pipes, but I don't know. So let's use this mini game. So the first thing we do. This has Ordo and Humanus. I don't have a lot of. The magic has Potentia mm -hmm. and Vacuous. Uh, Where's the Potentia? It's mm -hmm. Ordo. So that brings us back to Ordo. I do have some more Ordo. I've been, I was running low. Um, this one goes there. I think Air, that goes into Potentia, right? No, that's Fire. Air does something. We can probably go to Air with that one. With this one. Or Herba. We'll see. And then what's this one? So I always set this up. I want everything to come together in the middle. That's my goal. Fabrica, is that what it's called? There it is. Humanus and that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. And with this one I'm going to use Ordo. Oh. I'll go Ordo there. Right, and then it's there. There. Mm. We can actually connect those with fire, so those are connected. This magic, again, we have a lot of potentia, so that's what we do, potentia. Right, and then we can actually just go. Fire, Potentia, and Fire. And then this one we have Air. Let's see, what does Air and Fire make? Does it make anything? It does, it makes Lux. Oh, easy. So Air, Lux, Air, and Lux. And boom, done there. Let's check this out. We've read it. And scepters. So scepters, there are specialized wands. Uh, you can read this. So it does look like it needs a lot of stuff to make, which we can't get to that yet. So. All right, guys, that's going to be my episode. It is a short episode, mm -hmm. but when we come back, hopefully I'll have that figured out. Leave me some tips, and um, maybe we can... Um, hold on, I have to cough. Mm -hmm. I want to figure out a way to automate making the crystals down there. And my thought was, with these buffers again, have stuff come in through have golems putting stuff in here, have this making stuff, having it go across. It's going to come across and put all the stuff in the jars, and then whatever's left over, it's just going to crystallize. That's my thought. Any tips, let me know. I do appreciate you guys watching. Sorry, it's a short episode and didn't get total, a lot accomplished. I uh, can't even talk anymore. But I am under the weather. Just wanted to get this done. Alright, thanks. We'll see you later. Bye.